everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode it's time to carry on getting to space. So we sent off a satellite and that satellite rocket should return somewhere sometime. Um, but first of all we've got to actually carry on with that quest. This quest is wrong. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't make any sense by saying it's wrong. What it should be saying is, is this one isn't it? Space Station. It's space station with satellite builder stuff. And it, the text is about space station. So let's actually do what it's supposed to do. So we need to build a space station builder. I think that's what it's called anyway. Let's have a look. So a space station builder. I've actually built, I think I might have built some stuff already. Let's have a look. Oh, well, I've made this thing bigger as well. So we've got the warp controller that goes into the space station and a warp core that also goes into a space station. In fact, we can actually have a look at the warp controller while we're here. Shift right click this and let's have a look to see if we can find a warp core. Yes, this thing here. So, so what do we need for that? So we need core titanium blocks, machine structures, gold and input hatches. See that isn't too difficult. Maybe the titanium blocks are going to be the hardest part. And just in case they are, I might start to make a seed. Let's have a look what we've actually got for titanium in here. I haven't yet made a seed. Let's make a seed of titanium to start with so it's starting to produce it. I might have enough retail here to do that. It's basically a thousand, which is probably enough. Let's take out a stack of that anyway and let's create a recipe. Oh yes, <laughs> silly thing keeps doing that, doesn't it? So, right, recipe. Oh, I was playing with ruins here to see, to see if I could actually get those to work. They do work, I'll show you that in fact. Um, these ones are a bit awkward though, fishing rods are a real pain to make. I should possibly check whether I get a fishing rod as a, from the mobs, a mob drop and then save those because the recipe for this one is, oops, just deleted it anyway. It's really, it's really difficult. <laughs> so I'll take that out of there. So maybe I need some more patterns as well. Let's get some patterns. Oh, and I did mess up my build a bit and my arrangements. Let's make 10 of these next. Um, I needed, I forgot I needed to put the molecular assembly beside the um, uh, ME interfaces so he wasn't going to process when they were there. And I was a little while trying to figure out what I did wrong. And I've put another one here as well. So that's that. So what was I doing? I was trying to do patterns, wasn't I? Should have made those already. Which they have. In fact, it's actually it's not a bad idea to always have a few patterns. Let's put those over here in semi interface. Oh, I haven't got a crafting card in here, but I've probably got space in some of these. Yes, this one will do. Let's put in, what should we put in, six. That's probably a good number. Let's always keep six patterns made like that. So they're always in the system. We've always got six available. Let's put that into here. So we've got 13 patterns. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do a processing recipe for these, don't we? So basically one of these is going to make, let's go and find out what it's going to make, actually, rutile ore. So we want titanium. We've got no dust in there at the moment, so let's put that into the fast one. So it gets processed out and comes back into here as titanium. So we get two. So that's the that's the output from there, so we can put that over there and make a recipe. Take this recipe over here and then we'll put this into this ME interface. Like that. So now we can then order retail law. So let's say we wanted 15 blocks. Do you know, I'm not sure, exactly sure what 15 blocks is. Let's have a look. 15 times 9. Um, 135. So let's say we want 135 dust. So that's for titanium. Let's just change it to craftable. So let's craft 133. Next, of course, we'll get them in. So we get 134, which of course is exactly right. So we have enough to do our 15 blocks anyway. And I'm just thinking to myself, do we actually ever need to make a seed for this? I'll do it later. I'll do it in my own time. I think is the answer to that one. 
I won't do it now. So, anyway, so let's have a look for space station stuff, what we actually got to make. I was looking for blocks as well, and I decided I'm going to do a future future or a block for doing the space, dip, uh, space station stuff. They've got other ones, factory blocks. Factory blocks have got quite a lot of blocks, but I think they're a bit ugly, to be honest with you. I don't like them at all. <laughs> and, the, and I don't like these. The laboratory blocks are quite nice. Where are the laboratory blocks going to? Laboratory. These ones actually look pretty good. What's that one done at? Okay, we can do that. Make a few stacks of these. And then go and put that into my dank null here. I've actually already made some of these future blocks and some clear glass so we can actually have some windows in the thing. Let's shove all of these into that like that. Very good tool. I like I actually really like this null dank thing. Um, dank null thing. So there we are. There we are. Let it off. So now let's go to rocketry. And let's have a look for station. Rocket I must have done that one already, crystallised it, okay, about space station assembly, I think I've already built it, haven't I? Yes, I have, because that was expensive. Space station container, we need to build, oh, we need docking ports, definitely, let's make a, see if we can make a docking port, can't make a docking port, let's try that again, because that is a satellite bay, we do need these, I think I've already made one of these, so we should be able to do this now. Docking port. That's where you actually land onto the onto the base with the rocket. So satellite bay has machine structures. Of course, we need some more machine structures. Let's do it like this. I can only make sixteen because I run out of rods. Brilliant. So let's go and make some more rods as usual. I would like to automate this as well. Let's take a stack of that. That'll give us two stacks of rods in both machines as it happens. But Let's use the lathe since we built it. What's nice about this is it'll come in here and it'll fill up two slots. So we get some rods out of there. In fact, did I make anything in here that I haven't taken out yet? I think I did some gold plates. Let's go put those into the system. When I'm running across here, I'm just pressing control, by the way, in case you're wondering how I'm going fast but I'm going fast for two other and for the other reason as well which is speed so now we can actually do this one as well recipe for this like that makes four two ingots four it's actually just crafting recipe so it's a lot faster <laughs> I won't talk about that that's a light bay so we need one oh that's a light bay yes we need one of these that's what you put in that's what you actually build the space station into i think that will actually possibly do for what we need for doing the rocket let's i'm but i'm pretty sure i've got this thing set up so let's go and have a look at where the rocket is and as you can see i've, I've been getting rid of those flower uh, flowers because they were driving me a bit a bit irritating to be honest with you uh, any of those little uh help us the plant the flowers I'm just killing them off <laughs> but now around here that satellite that we launched it's possible that it's it's landed and if it's landing it's going to be landing in the 500 256 range I think from the um, launch point so we just trundle around here have a look around see if it's actually turned up again they sometimes don't if it's landed in the water well I'm gonna have a little bit more of it. Well, actually, it's no more difficult finding it in the water, is it? We can see perfectly well right round to the bottom here. I think that might be part of night vision. So if you see it while I'm flying around, just shout. <laughs> it should be easy enough to see because it's tall. Six blocks high, I think. It, six blocks, seven blocks high, isn't it? Because I've got the... The rocket, the engine, and um, oh, and I did put a wall around here to stop the mobs coming in as well. And the wall was centered on the um, mega torch at 64 block radius. And they, oh, well, all they used was a builder set into a cylinder mode, right? Okay, can't find it. So, this is the satellite built that's the satellite builder space station assembly. Good, 
for this base station assembly I do not need this tower but let's start with putting down the base actually this will do fine so I'm going to contain it within here it has to be within the base what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one block into here like this Ooh, it's interesting patterns this one doesn't it so let's put the docking port docking yes the space station docking port here you can have multiple of these on the dock, on, a, on a space station and I'll try again like that. okay it looks sort of reasonable doesn't it in fact that's it we don't need any more for the space station so let's see if we can actually build it now space station assembler so we need a space station ID chip and we need a bay so we click that for the bay and that will come out here on the bottom side so we need to get the space station ID chip which I think I've got in the bag satellite the ID chip planet ID chip space station ID chip so we put this into here like this and then we scan it it scans that basically it's just scanning that little block there let's try that again now so it's now scanned ready it says ready here at the top so we build it what will happen now is it goes down we've got the space station container and a space station ID chip with ID 1 so that should complete the quest well so what we do with this is we would like that satellite rocket back again <laughs> um, and we just launch it up so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna to have to go back to the base and build another set of rockets on tight overworld base so we need some more tanks and we need some more oh, with that, for that matter let's go and get those iron bars out of here try again those are completed something's making noise probably because I went away now this is finished as well so we should hope to try again the output hatch so we've got titanium really alloy and titanium alumide alloys that's good for the, the motors in fact I think we had to roll some of those didn't we let's have a look let's have a look at the uses of this so we can make gears very expensive way of making the gear we can do that much cheaper than that um, plates let's look at the uses of plates we can make the rocket so we could do that with titanium iridium oil Oh, or let's make uh, how many have I got? Got 42. Let's make three of these. So we need nine. Like that. Let's put those into the rolling machine. Oh, try again. Where do they go to? Do they go straight through? Did I misclick that? Try that again. I think I did misclick that, didn't I? That's better. So we're getting these start off as pink and then up as silvery. Good. So we're going to make ordinary ordinary ones to start with because they're cheaper. For what we're going to do, we need one engine which I think we have got. But we need tanks. The tanks are the important bit. So let's have a look at this. And we're going to need at least six of these. And these are what? Steel. Actually we need five. To send the to send the satellite up but we need some more so we need some more sheets and some rods let's have a look oh, it's not showing me any steel in here at all oh, because I've got it set to craftable good so we've got 3,000 of these let's have a look at for the uses of that something I'm always confused about I can do it there sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work seeds are great <laughs> 
they do take away a bit of the grind don't they so let's have a look at the steel again so we've got six of those that's nowhere near enough let's go and roll these 21 here and how many rods do we need possibly half of that that could be 32 won't it let's do that I'm going to roll those the most of engineering ones and I'm going to lay the thermal foundation ones I presume I can oh it's ice can good because it was going down so we're getting some steel rods from it here and you'll notice that that's from the whole pit library so I probably need two weight do I oh, I've already got 21 plates that was fast Steel rods, I wonder if there's a better way of doing steel rods. So look at the use of that. Can we do it with a vertical two in a row? Yes we can do it that way anyway. Maybe that's better. But since we've done them already, let's just leave it for the time being. And see how we get on. Three more to go, two more to go. Oh, these machines are so much cooler anyway. <laughs> it's a quick craft, aren't they? <laughs> 32, I think, is the number, isn't it? 16, yep, good. Let's put these away now. Because we need to build a second rocket. So let's have a look at them. We'll need some more tanks. We'll need some at least five more tanks for this one. So let's do the recipe for the, let's just do it hang on, actually. So we've got eleven tanks. Engines. We've got one engine there already, because I left one behind. Let's have a look for the advanced engine. I think we just probably need two of these. I'll make three, huh? So we've got our guidance computer and the satellite bay we don't actually care about. It's one of those things. I think we need a... Have I got a satellite? Did I make a satellite? second satellite bay? I haven't, have I? Um, space. I need a bay of some description. This thing. Because that goes onto the rocket. And with this we put that we built the rocket. So let's I need some we still got everything on it good. Let's go and do the rocket. So I'm going to remove this one here. Like that. We're going to put it on here. It doesn't actually matter where you put it in fact. You can put it anywhere you like. It will move when the when the rocket's formed. So we put it down like that. Then we put on five tanks. Exactly the same as we did the previous one. Of course with flight it helps a bit. So we then keep the satellite bay here, put that on the top. Oop, missed try. I've done that. How many times have I done that? Drive me crazy when I do that. Like that. That's it. So we need to build the rocket now. This is the rocket builder. Let's scan it. And it should be perfect. You see all these lines here just on the green. So that's fine. So we can then build it. It's got plenty of thrust as you can see. And as you see, it's moved to the middle of the pad here, which is great. So now we can shift right click this, open up the satellite bay, and put into that the space station container. Simple as that. And then we've got the space station ID chip here, which is where we actually fly to. So I didn't explain this properly last time, but this thing here, rocket monitoring station, is actually takes accepts a redstone signal so it's got a normal redstone signal so which basically means it'll launch the, the rocket when it's full of fuel which is fine so let's, let's now take this rocket launch here i need to get the linker out again seems it's not in my inventory let's go of course it's not in my inventory because i haven't got the 
bag. What have I done with the bag? Have oh, I messed up? Put the bag in the wrong place. That would be a bit of a nuisance. No, actually it's alright, we can do it from here, can't we? So what was that? Reinforced satchel, wasn't it? Yeah, look. Well, how did that get in there? Oh, we've even got a basic one there as well. Okay, I don't know where that came from. Told me to fill the complete quest. Good one, Linker. So, so let's take this here and then we link this one to the rocket assembly machine. Like that. And then if we look at this, the fuel should start to fill up. And as soon as it fills up, the rocket will take off and launch our satellite for us. As you can see. Now that's going to take a while to get up there. In the meantime, we can actually build our own rocket. So that we can do that on... I have to build it in the same place as it happens because I've only got one rocket assembly machine. But we need the guidance computer, so let's take the guidance computer. I'm probably going to have to wait for the smoke to disappear. Let's have a look on the on the monitoring station here and see how it's doing. So the velocity is increasing nicely and so is the altitude. And it is exactly, it's, it's funny, this particular design exactly at the bottom, this is exactly at the top. So it, it just has enough fuel to go up. And we just have to wait for the fumes to disappear. Disperse. <laughs> it's cool, huh? Have I got a mark? Oh, so I've got. A, yes, I put a marker there. I put a marker there because I wanted to see how far away 256 blocks is away. Is away. And let's get rid of that marker anyway. And turn it off. The launch pad. Let's turn it off. Don't need it for the time being. So let's build our own personal rocket. So we need. I'm going to use two engine design. We'll see how the thrust goes on this one. Uh, yep, that will do, that will do. I want to put in the middle of that guidance computer. And then we just put the fuel tanks on top. We've got six. We'll just do like this. And then we want the seat, which is here. <laughs> Funny place for a seat. But there we are. Okay, now let's just scan this rocket. Oh, we definitely do not want this to be launched at the time, when it takes off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this rocket monitor because we want to be on it. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, probably isn't a good idea to do that because it's it will have lost the contact with the other one. But it doesn't matter much, I don't think. I hope not anyway. Let's scan this. And you'll notice here that the fuel has got plenty of fuel. And the reason it's got plenty of fuel is because the weight is relatively low compared to the thrust. Uh, it's 100 newtons of thrust, and I think that's actually pretty good. It says clear for liftoff. So we can then build this rocket. Like that. So the rocket's now linked, and it should be fueling itself up. So we need to get out of here. Ah. Um, spacesuit so let's get the spacesuit out of here we need to put it on oops sorry i pressed too many escape too many times let's just remove this lot put on the spacesuit i can't shift click it ah oh, i can't shift click it with the handy bag in the way so what we'll do we'll just shift e on it and then we'll put this into that like that space which are my missing boots now we can do it so now we can get onto the rocket let's do that no destination set. So what do I have to do for that one? I think I programmed that to being plus or something. Yes, good. So we can then select destination. We need to select the guidance computer here and put the space station ID chap into into that. Now the space station is the destination. So I think we can actually go. 
Let's press space. I think space is launch. I have actually forgotten some. F no, I haven't forgotten fuel actually. We've got fuel in the tank in here, I hope. Yeah, lots of fuel. Unfortunately, on the left hand side of the screen now, <laughs> we have a very bad display. <laughs> Everything's overlapping. I'm going to have to find a way to to sort that out. So we're going to descend shortly. Hopefully the space station's already there. <laughs> I'm going to wait for it to descend. While it's actually going to descend, I'm going to have slipper tease. Excuse me a second. I think it's actually under, I think you can just see on the minimap there's a little square there. So now the velocity comes down. We don't have to do anything, it'll automatically stop. And here we are. We are on our space station. Like that. And you'll notice that the destination changed also to Earth. So what we can now do, of course, is extend this out. Well, I've got my builders wanted. Let's just extend it out because it's a weeny bit smaller at the moment. So I'm just holding shift. I can press, get the box selected. I want this one to untie. Let's just do it like this. Make it a little bit bigger all round. Oh, for, uh, probably what I'm going to probably do with this is to fill it, to make it bigger on my, in my own time, as it were. Fill it out. There's not the, the actually extending the platform is relatively set, st straightforward and simple, just like that. Have we got over there? Do you know that looks actually like a rocket? something anyway something green I have no idea what it is can we see on the map let's just scale that a bit just a load of clouds but that was definitely a green thing wasn't it probably out of range I wonder if that's a rocket or something like that never mind I've got a feeling we've actually got enough fuel to get back because we don't need that much fuel to get nothing to be linked to want to get onto it on we don't actually need that much fuel to get back so let's press space to take off and you'll see that we should have because we're already in space I'm just taking a bit of a risk here I will be honest <laughs> because I haven't done this before we we don't have need that much fuel to get the, to the height that we want so with one tank of fuel we could probably should be able to get there and back again see no problem whatsoever and repair space we'll descend back to earth and you can see on the earth, on the map here the earth which will be coming down and landing on where we took off from if I look carefully, I might be able to see there's a rocket. That's not it. Yeah, I need to put something on my boots. So I don't, so I don't take fall damage. Well, we do, let's do that now, actually. <laughs> Thinking about it might be a good idea. So, advanced rocketry. Let's have a look. What have we got? We've, there's a fall damage boot thing. So we've got, there we go, padded landing boots. Basically they get rid of all fall damage. So we need some leather boots, some control circuits, advanced rocketry. I'll tell you what, easiest way to do this. Oh, no, it won't work because I've got nothing in the index. It doesn't pick up the stuff, does it? So let's get the stuff out. I forgot what it was already. I know there were some leather boots. But not those type of boots. Maybe I've got some enchanted ones. I tend to, I've been honest with you, I've been throwing the stuff away so, f so, so much I probably haven't got any left. It doesn't matter that much, I suppose you can easily make some. I think leather boots is fairly straightforward. I think, oops, ouch. <laughs> Oh, 
the wrong place. That would probably be easiest to do from here, isn't it? Oh. That's fairly good. We'll do that one. We've got plenty of those. And then what we can do with these is put these into the repair machine. Let's do that. Then we'll take a second to repair up. Results was in the OXP. So that's the leather boot sorted out. I could take two sets, but I think 223s don't make 65, they make 46. So you'd have to do it three times, which is which is more to pain, really. So that's one thing we need. We need a feather and a control circuit board, an advanced circuit. I think we've got the advanced circuits here, look. Control circuit board. Yep. And a feather. We should have plenty of those. Actually, it might be. I should probably start to grow some chickens. I think there's actually a recipe for these. So we'll look at a recipe for chicken. Ah, yes, we can make feather essence from from chicken essence, which is just fine. I don't need to do that. So let's go and put these into the precision assembler. Which window am I going to put them into? This one at the back here. I also got my copper plates in there. So that was a board, that boots, and a advanced circuit, which we can put into the output hatch into here. Oop. So we now got our padded landing boots. Boots, plural, good. So then we can put these into the space suit. We actually have another look at ourselves, have we? That's what we look like in the space suit. So look at this from the back. Oh, we have we can actually put a jetpack on as well. Let's do that as well. So I believe there's a jetpack for this thing. We do look quite, quite suited up, don't we? Now the bench I think is elsewhere, so we'll get the bench later on. In fact, let's take open this bag and put the armor into that. Don't think we need that for the time being. Put the advanced motor in there as well. Okay, good. Oh, by the way, the rocket should also, also have fuel, fueled up again because we returned to the same spot. So the other thing we could do in this was there. Uh, we've got various things. Atmosphere analyzer we can put into there. So what do we need? A battery, a tin plate, a basic lens. We'll take a basic lens. Tin plates we should have. I think we've got a few of those, yep. Yeah. What else did we need for the analyzer? Oh, user interface, I think we'll make one of those just in case we haven't got one, probably haven't. And uh, the last thing was a advanced circuit, wasn't it? Oops, that why is that showing up that stored and craftable? Bit strange stuff. Ah. So those five things will make the sensor. And the jetpack. I think there's actually two types of jetpacks. Because when you look at the uses of the space, this one here, you can do this. So we can build an electric jetpack. Well, that's IC2. Don't want to do IC2. <laughs> we'll do the other one, which is the standard one from uh, Jetpack. Uh, this one. So we need two low pressure tanks, high pressure tanks. We'll make the high pressure tanks. We haven't got enough of those, have we? What have we got? We haven't got the fireballs either. <laughs> that's interesting. An interesting fire get three of those. Actually you might have those somewhere in the system to be honest with you. Not in that bit. A string, okay, of that one. So we need some tanks. Now those ones are made from in here, rolling machine. So we need one, two, four pieces of titanium. Let's get that out of here. Let's go and roll these twice. Too far. That 
actually give us two more tanks. Let's try again. They will have bigger capacities. That's why we're doing that. We also need to make another charge pad. So I don't forget. So now, the jetpack, I think we should be able to craft. I think we've got everything we need for that. Indeed, we have. Good. So the next thing we need is another charge pad. Oh, we can also make planet selectors. I'm just looking for the charge pad. Let's look for that as part. I'm not sure if it's in this one or whether it's in the whole pizzle actually. Let's hear good. Oh yes, lots and bits and pieces. Let's make two more of these. Quite a lot of bits to this actually. Two more of these. Fortunately we made some steel bits and pieces when we were thinking about it. Let me interface. be a pressure plate we won't have definitely have a pressure plate we always make this on demand so now we have a gas charge pad we also need to make a servo because we ain't got any more so we'll do it the cheap way so the cheap way is iron to make the least do you know i don't know how many eight Let's put those in there and then make this one, which is basically this. We get that eight. Uh, then we should have fluid duct. I think we've got fluid duct already, so that should be okay. If not, I can't. I will craft it over here. Now, this one. Oh, yes, that's a workstation. Good enough. Glad I found it. Fluid output has just wrong place. I'm going to have to move you out of the way. Excuse me, so that workstation. So now we'll do it the same as this one here. So we just want one piece of fluid duct down. Because I've got to find the fluid duct first of all. My thing is very full and I haven't made the other thing. Let's do that. The uh, analyzer wasn't it. So put one of these into there. That's the, that's the input hatch. We can put a plate, a battery, an EMI interface, and an advanced circuit into another one. So we have the analyzer, atmosphere analyzer. So actually, when you're looking at that now, you should be able to simply have it in your hand like this. And it should tell us that we right click it, and it says, here we are, atmosphere type air at one. ATM, atmospheric pressure thing, breathable, yes. Now we can put that into our suit, which is a good thing to do. So, right. So that actually clears a bit of inventory space out of here. Um, let's put the suit builder down somewhere else. Well, it doesn't really matter where it goes to. Let's put it down. I'll try to remember where it is there. Okay, so we need now one item fluid duct. Let's get that out of here. And I don't have one. So we'll make a hardened fluid duct then. That's the clear type. Let's just make the... Oh, I should do that here, shouldn't I? that down and we put beside that the charge pad put it in there and that then connects to that and this will actually take hydrogen so now what we do is we look on the jetpack here it doesn't give us very much information about it I don't think so I need to put the servo onto there like that and then activate that 
and this should be filling up with hydrogen and hydrogen is what we need for the jetpack which is exactly nice because it's exactly the opposite of the other one so now the jetpack goes into the body into the this one so let's put the suit into here and then we can put the jetpack onto here like this and then we can take the suit out but that's not really enough for that so we've got the jetpack and the suit um, and for the boots we can do the boots as well we'll put those into there and we can put the paddy landing boots saves with prevents us having fall damage and you can see on the top left here we've got that so the the fuel should be empty so we stand on here now we should get a hydrogen in fact it's not really showing up is it on the thing can i see because it should uh, the trouble is, is the, the armor bar i think is where it would normally go and it's been covering it up by the hydrogen thing now unfortunately i can't see it but i do need to move this this day height and light level thing away and the frames per second thing away but i guess it's filled up now let's have a look i suppose one way to test this is to put it onto here again and it should tell me ah, it's not telling me is it nuisance so there are some more things we need to build have i got everything i wanted to put no i haven't got this now it doesn't tell me where it goes to i think this goes into the headpiece i'm not 100 percent sure indeed it does so now we can see the atmospheric pressure here at 1 a.m atmospheric pressure so let's have a look so the next thing we need is the control circuits so we've got flight control speed upgrade and a hover upgrade and I think the one we need basically one of each of these. Oh, that's nice. We'll do both because <laughs> that's got the uh, the the fire charge. So one fire charge, one diamond, one of them, and two of those. Let's get that out. One of those. Um, fire charge. One of those. One diamond. What was the fourth thing? The control circuits. Now we're going to take two of those because we need one for the other one as well. So the other one was the this one. So we need a redstone torch and a piece of redstone and a, a basic circuit. Redstone torch and a piece of redstone, and that should be enough to make those two devices. I've already got redstone in there, don't care about that. Let's put the redstone torch. I've already got basic circuits in there, don't, so that's fine. So we need one of these. What else are we missing? Redstone torch, basic circuit redstone, and basic circuit. I think that was. Oh, oh yes, of course we need control. That was it. So that's got the the green one, so to speak. So I'll put the others into here. Ah, wrong window again. So that one, I'll take this one out if you don't need that. Fireball, diamond, and a control circuit. That gets through. So we've got the flight speed control as well. And I think, I'm not mistaken, they both go onto the headpiece here. It's very easy, though, this thing, by the way. And as you can see on the top, right, top left hand side here, we have all of those bits and pieces I'm a bit worried about the I'll tell you what we'll do let's take the let's take this body jacket off here 
let's put it into the charge pad I think we can shift click it and then when it fills up I expect it to fill up <laughs> tell you what let's do it again let's take these two oh they're oxygen tanks ah it's a jetpack probably need to do the jetpack separately let's just try the jetpack it's not telling me enough is it we have got hydrogen in here, in here and I'm sure it's the charge pad that we use tell you what let's test it out oh so what is the control for the jetpack let's have a look toggle jetpack X but it's higher uh, maybe it doesn't work let's just try it no that doesn't work so let's just uh, have to change that control um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use it for but what we're going to use in its place we'll find something shall we so I think we've already done multiply but we'll see if that works yes that one's done minus I think subtract is also done yeah what else do we have plus oh that's already done because that's add um, how about insert okay done so hopefully an insert doesn't actually give us any problems so let's just press the insert well oh yes it's green look the jetpack's now green so you can see on the, on the top it's red and it's green uh, how do I fly? <laughs> it's not jumping's not doing it. I don't see the hydrogen. That's what's bothering me a bit. I wonder fluid hatch, but we can put things into this fluid hatch. Let's just see if we can do this. I don't think this will work. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to do some more research. You see, it's not taking any fuel out of here. It's just stayed at that level. Hmm. Let's just disassemble this again. Take the jetpack out of here. See if we can put this into here like this. So I'm pretty certain you use the jetpack. I wonder if there's any other tools that we need. That's carbon collecting stuff. So let's have a look at jet. We've only got that one. fossil projector something completely different how about something completely different hmm well you know I'm a bit stuck I'm not sure what I should be putting into that but they do have they do have airlock doors which are quite neat as well we should probably make a few airlock doors so we can get th through the door so anyway let's put a jetpack back into that it didn't fill up. I'm sure I just put this in the charge pad, you know. Because it is hydrogen, you don't fill it up with oxygen. Maybe it's a bug. Hmm. I will double check that. Unless I need to do something else with it, whether I need to actually create the jetpack version of it. Maybe I do, but that's an electric jetpack. So, I think that's it for this episode. Let's just have, before I go, let's just check those quests and see if there's something I should actually do in the meantime. Let's claim that one. That opens up two more quests, CO2. So we need to make an oxygen vent, an oxygen scrubber, a CO2 scrubber, and some carbon collection things. I think you need normally more than one. And here the moon, planet ID chip. So it says once you once you've filled and build your rocket, you can almost go to the moon. That's so basically let's do that by adding a planet ID chip, selecting the lunar for a blast off. So in fact, let's get that out of the bag. I'm sure I've done it already. Lunar. 
see whether that completes the quest. It doesn't hurt to make a second planet I did. I'm just back to the normal view because I can't cope with that one. Let's just finish that quest off here because it's so easy. So planet ID chip. So we should be able to craft that straight away. Nope, we have to do this one first. Now, why would we want to do that? There is something else we should also do, possibly, and that's to make a second satellite ID chip. Oh. Space station ID chip. That means I'm going to use up my linker again. Let's just take the. Doesn't matter if we use up my linker again. For the time being, we'll make another linker because they're so cheap as well. Uh, is the linker gone too? You know when you can see when you're dreadful when you can't see something. Oh, is it not? Maybe it's in Vulpis then. Indeed, it is. Okay, that's as you see, that's just ridiculously cheap. Let's go now and actually do that planet ID chip because it's just so straightforward. Let's go to the rocket. This we should have found out it should be full of fuel. Um, let's link it. It's not. This is not linked to the rocket. So if we link this one here to the that, it should then be linked. And it should tell us the fuel status. So it's got fuel, but it's not actually filled up again. Okay, um, so what we do to do this, we just, I think, this has got the space station chip ID in here at the moment, hasn't it? Let's, let's, let's take this out. What we can do for a safety measure, because if you lose this, you're, you're messed up, you can't do anything. But I think it's in the satellite builder. This one, yes, good. You can put the space station ID chip in here and it should go into this slot. You can then put the space station unprogrammed one into this slot and click build, I think. Click on one of these two. Oh, here, copy. Right to secondary chip. And then it will create a second and a duplicate of that chip that you've just created. Space station one, space station one. So they're then identical. And you can put one of these safely away in a chest or somewhere. Um, around here so we actually don't lose it in fact I won't do that now but this thing should have filled up with fuel I don't know why it hasn't anyway let's go go back to this thing shift right click it so what we do need to know now is program one of these chips to be lunar I'll do this one so you can then go like that and then you can go select destination and you just move up here and Luna is somewhere around. There it is. Double click it, select, and then that's done. So you can then come along here and take this out again, select destination. Oops, wrong. Open up this. That's now programmed for Luna. And that should complete the quest. Let's double check it. Complete. Ah, oh, it's got something else to do. I done this thing crystal. <laughs> well, we got that's not even too difficult. That's how do we make done this thing crystals? Here. So we basically put this into the crystallizer, which is just dilithium ore. And dilithium ore, we've got plenty of. Let's take some of that one. 124. So let's go and shove this into the crystallizer and get our crystal. Well, basically, this is then the power of your crystallizer is this one. This I thought it was. Help! I just this is the one that's exactly the opposite way around of everybody else's. So we've got I already got two. And that should actually complete the quest. There we go. The moon. The reason for that is that normally that is actually the richest 
it's very rich in the lithium crystals at the moon so we should be able to go there do some mining we should be able to get lots of lithium ore but i've got a funny feeling that we probably can make a seed for one of these two either as well but i'm not sure about that so look um recipes for this so that, and recipes for this no no seeds in that one just smell just grinding up this one and i think the recipe for there is none so we have to find it okay good so let's open up this loot chest. Some medikits. I'll put those away. And also, let's do the other one here. Um, there was another quest just completed, wasn't the the moon? Let's complain. Claim that one. Go back. And it was just the scrubbers, wasn't it? We'll do that next time. So I've got a bouncy plate. Well, they go into here. I don't know what the bouncy plates do. I guess we just bounce on them. Um, this one last thing I didn't show you was this. Oops, don't want to click those. In here, you can. I've got a activate block with this. It's a mechanically user, and you can just basically put items into that rather than having to throw them on or right click them onto there. Actually, makes life a lot easier. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. So until next time, bye for now.